Today we're going head to head with Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm gonna make the best wings I can and we'll have a random person in this parking lot be the final judge. Now, if they win, each of their chefs get a hundred bucks. Okay, first step, we need to go inside and taste the competition. I've actually never had Buffalo Wild Wings before, so let's go. All right, well, unfortunately we just got kicked out. Apparently you can't film in there, so we're gonna do our taste test here. I went with three flavors, starting with the tangy Asian. They definitely look fried and looks like a sweet chili sauce. All right, chicken wing umbrella. And this here is the proper technique when it comes to chicken wings. We'll go for a bite. For some reason it's like hurricane winds out here, but pretty good wing, very standard. I like the sauce. We'll try the buffalo. Buffalo wings are probably my favorite food, so hopes were high. Not terrible, not amazing. Next up, the Carolina Reaper. And I need to point out that we need to stop calling boneless wings wings. This is a chicken wing, and this here is a fried chicken breast. Carolina Reaper boneless wing, which is not a real wing, but going for a bite. It's extremely spicy. Definitely my least favorite. The breading's really thick. Not very good. All right, well, my mouth is on fire and I'm still a little annoyed we got kicked out of there, but I think I know everything we need to know about those wings. Let's get started on ours. Time to set up shop. We're gonna be making smoked and deep fried wings. First time using this portable charcoal grill, so anything could happen. It uses this highly dense charcoal that theoretically should produce less smoke, which is a priority. Okay, now the first step of our smoked and deep fried wings are to smoke them. So I'm gonna get my charcoal fired up to hopefully around 275, and I'm really hoping it doesn't smoke too much because they're already not happy with me. While the charcoal gets heated up, time to prep our wings. I started by removing the wings from the package, and at this point I was already getting some very weird looks from people in the parking lot. So this is a whole chicken arm. We have the drum, this is the flat, and we have this little end piece here. Sometimes they even still come with the feathers. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the drum from the flat. Slice through here, give it a snap, and slice off. Next we'll remove this end piece, and we're left with a perfect flat and drum. Continue working through all of the wings, I wasn't sure how many would fit in the grill, but more is always better. Okay, time to season our wings. I'm just using a barbecue rub. Now the key is not going too heavy on the seasoning. Since we're adding a sauce, we'll be incorporating more flavors later. Just make sure to get both sides. Wings can easily get salty if you season them too heavy in the beginning, so I always stick to a really light coat. Our charcoal is all lit up, and we're smoking over applewood, low and slow. Place down the grate and gently lay out all of the wings. Time to let them grill and start to pick up that incredible smoky flavor. I have to say the parking lot was smelling great. Okay, our wings are smoking. Time to make our first sauce, which is Asian inspired. The key ingredient is gochujang. This is a fermented uh, Korean chili paste and it's absolutely delicious. We'll also need some garlic. Get a couple cloves. You can definitely use garlic powder, but nothing beats fresh garlic when it comes to flavor, along with the added texture. Give them a quick mince. Next, some ginger. You really don't need to take off the skin, but since a stranger is gonna be our taste tester, I wanted each bite to be as perfect as possible. And lastly, we'll just need an orange. Start by getting a bit of oil hot and add in the garlic and ginger. We're just letting this cook down for just a second. Now we're adding in our gochujang, our soy sauce. A bit of honey and our orange juice. Finishing it with a little bit of butter. The butter is gonna give a beautiful silky texture and richness. Once that cools down, it'll get nice and tacky, sweet, a little bit spicy. It's incredible. Okay, so next up is our competition sauce. I do want to try to keep this as even as possible, so I'm just making a very simple buffalo sauce. When it comes to buffalo sauce, Frank's Red Hot is key. I've yet to find another hot sauce that provides the right flavor. Just mix that up with some butter, and you'll never need another recipe. So simple, but so good. Okay, our sauces are done, and just check out these wings. The wings are almost fully cooked, 
and have absorbed the smoky flavor, but they're still missing that crunch. For step two, we're gonna heat up the oil and give the wings a quick fry. As the wings climb up to 175 Fahrenheit, the skin starts to caramelize, and we're left with what I consider to be the perfect wing. While they're still hot, add them to a bowl with some of that gochujang sauce and give them a toss. Quickly go through the same exact process for the buffalo wing. Once fried, add the sauce and toss until each part of the wing is coated. Okay, now we're gonna finish these off with some blue cheese powder. I recently learned about blue cheese powder and I have to say it adds an amazing touch to anything buffalo flavor. Finish the Asian wings with more sauce and green onion. And there you have it, two of my all-time favorite wing recipes. Okay, these look ridiculously good. Time for a quick taste test before we go against them. Starting with the buffalo. You get that nice smokiness, a little kick to it. This is my kind of wing. Number two. This one is unbelievable. It's a little bit more mild. You do get some sweetness. I hate to say it, but I'd probably go for this over the buffalo. Okay, it is finally time to figure out who makes the better buffalo wing, me or Buffalo Wild Wings. There's a lot of money at stake here, so please like the video if you're enjoying it. Time to order some wings and find our taste tester. Cubby's got six buffalo wings. We got the goods. And I'll be honest, at this point in these videos, my heart is always racing. Not only is there money on the line, but you never really know how people are gonna react when you approach them in a parking lot offering food. But it was time to do it. Okay, the pressure's on, let's find our taste tester. Yo guys, I had a question. Yo, excuse me? Would you guys be down to do a wing taste test? Okay. I made, would you guys do it? Let's He's do it. Let's go. He saw who you were. No way. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, we were watching, we're watching your videos. Just watching oh, really? Yeah, no way. Yeah, I'm like, we're, we're waiting. Taste test. I was like, oh, it has to be perfect. Okay guys, we were lucky to be joined by Dave and Liz. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so we have two types of wings here. Both are buffalo. All I need to hear is which one you like better. And uh, that's pretty much it. So wait, do we know who made which one or we just tell you at the end? We don't know. You just, okay. Whichever one you like more. Oh, you left me the flat? <laughs> okay. All right. So wing number one. It's good. It's just like good. buffalo wings. All right, is it? Okay. It's just like buffalo wings. What would you rate it out of 100 or out of 10? Seven like an eight. Eight? Like seven, 7.6. It seems crispy and the flavor is good. All right, so that was number one. Now, wing number two. Do you I'll take, it says you I'll got take a flat. the flat this time. Right off the bat, I know this is yours. How so? <laughs> it tastes real. It doesn't taste like a, a, I know Buffalo Wild Ones. Yeah. Like I knew that was Buffalo Wild Ones as a start, but this tastes real. This is real. Yeah. Good. Really? The crisp. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right, so favorite wing on three. One, two, three. Two. two. <laughs> Oh, baby! Yeah, so these were smoked, then deep fried. Mm -hmm. So kind of like oh, a, a double see. action situation. I was gonna say, that's why it tastes real. Like, it tastes like yeah. smoky. How long, how long were you cooking? Uh... Yeah, we got here probably like five hours ago or oh something. Oh my God. Yeah. And for your time. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and I made $20 and I got a good wing. There we go. <laughs> All right, that was pretty awesome. Thanks so much to Dave and Liz. Now I will say Buffalo Wild Wings was at a disadvantage and I think they still deserve something. So I'm gonna give each of their chefs 20 bucks. Hey, can I give a tip to the people in the back? This is for you guys. All right, thank you. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know where I should battle next and I'll see you next time. Low and slow.